everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs, and I'm going to show you how to use this beautiful, forever lovely photopolymer stamp and the coordinating framelits. We've got a stray framelit in there. Here you can see there's lots of framelits that coordinate with this set. The uh, set itself can be found on page five of the 2019 Stampin' Up! Uh, occasions catalog you can see it here and I think at first glance you might think it's a Valentine's set and as you can see it does have a Valentine sentiment but the rest of the set can be used throughout the year for lots of different occasions I'm going to show you how to use this really neat die right here um, to overlay your stamps and use this uh, you could use this for really anything. You are loved. I really thought of my daughters when I made this card. This would be a great card to give to them, um, a family member or a friend. Um, it would just make a really nice card. All right, the first thing we're going to do is the die cut part. And we're going to need this die right here. You can see it um, cuts this beautiful layer right here. So we're going to do our die cutting first. Now you need a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures five by three and three fourths. And we're gonna use our magnetic platform here to keep it straight. I'm gonna set this piece right here. And I always feel like I forget the way this die goes. It looks to me like it should go this way, right? Well, that's wrong. This side over here actually cuts completely off and this side embosses. The way I remember is you see this little flower right here? That flower always points towards the side that's gonna be cut off. So I'm gonna stick this on here. And my piece of cardstock is a little bit smaller than the die, that's okay. It's gonna just cut this edge right off here and it's going to cut all of those pieces right there as well. So let's run it through twice because it's an intricate die. Gives it a little more time to get all those cuts. See how that piece comes right off. And now you can see all of these little pieces right here are gonna cut. Be very careful when you pull that off. The die brush really will help you get all these little pieces out. You can run it through, just be very careful because you've got some tiny little beautiful intricately cut pieces on your, on your cardstock. All right, let's move all of this out of the way. Now, the way I'm gonna get this stamp lined up with that is I'm gonna use the Stamparatus. Stamparatus is Stampin' Up's stamp positioning tool and it works beautifully for things like this. And I also have the grid paper in here. Grid paper is an accessory you can buy for your Stamparatus and it's gonna help me know exactly where I am putting my paper, okay? If the paper actually gets picked up by the stamp, I can see exactly where it's at and make sure everything is straight. All right, I'm gonna line that up. Then I'm gonna grab one of these magnets on the back and I am going to put it right down here like this. Actually, I think we'll put this one up here at the top. Now, I'm gonna grab the other one. The reason I'm grabbing them one at a time is because these magnets are so strong that the that they um, attract each other. So once it's on the base, it's they, they would not attract each other, they're stuck down. But if you have them both out at the same time, they'll pop together. So I try to just use one at a time so that doesn't happen. They're very strong and that's what makes them really good. All right, so I've got this here, the, the overlay piece, and here's my stamp. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna lay it down. Well, let's see, our magnet's in the way now. I'm gonna lay it down on here and get these lined up. It's photopolymer, so you can really see where you're stamping. There we go. Let's see, is that good? You know, let's see, I think maybe I might wanna do, let's, let's slide this down. I want it a little bit further up the paper like that. All right, now our, our magnet will be in the right place. Let's make sure this is all lined up. Is that perfect? Get those lined up. You gotta really check it. Then take your, your plate and pick up that stamp. There we go. Now carefully take this one away. You don't want this one to move. And now let's see if I can get all of this in the screen for you. If you put your stamp case underneath over here, it really kind of makes an evil, even stamping 
uh, platform for you. I'm gonna ink it up in Blushing Bride and push it down really well. I'm gonna go with a lot of pressure. That magnet's really close, so I don't want the magnet to stop it. Look at that, gorgeous. Now, if you want it a little bit darker, you could re-ink it, but these are our distinctive designs. See how there's lots of different layers in there? And the more ink you get on your stamp, the more those layers are actually gonna disappear. So I'm gonna leave it, I like it. Now we've got some leaves that go in there. So I'm gonna take those off. I'm gonna line them up. You can see exactly where they go. I'm gonna take this, this time, this plate, and ink it up in pear pizzazz. Make sure that paper didn't move. It's right there along that line. The photopolymer stamps are kind of sticky and sometimes they will pick your paper up. That's why you wanna use those magnets and the grid paper together. All right, let's see how this looks. Oh, beautiful. Now, when I put this on the card, see how perfectly that's gonna line up? I'm gonna trim this to match so that they are equal. They are the same uh, length on my card. All right, so let's take these off and let's get going with our card. Now, I'm gonna actually use my Stamparatus again. So I'm gonna just slide it over here. Let's get the trimmer out and trim those two pieces so that they are exactly the same when they are lined up. Let's see, right like that. Well, a little bit more down like that. Now I can see in the back where I need to trim. Right there. Well, let's get that even. And there. Now when I mount them on my paper, they're exactly the same length. All right. One other thing I'm going to stamp is that sentiment. And I'm going to use my Stamparatus for that as well because that way I'm going to get it straight and perfect. I'm going to turn my plate around so I don't have to take that stamp off at all. All right. Let's see. My my original stamp I felt like was a little bit too high, maybe a little bit lower. So I think I'll bring it down this time like that and get it as straight as you want it. Carefully pick that up and I'm gonna do it in pear pizzazz again. And this time we can stamp it twice if we needed to. Let's see, make it a little bit darker. Very nice. Now if I can just avoid getting ink on my hands and on that white paper, we will be good to go. Let's put our card together. I've got a pear pizzazz card base and I've got a piece of soft sea foam that is um, four by five and a fourth. And I'm gonna start by putting this base piece down here, and I put my flowers down at the bottom. You could also do this completely flipped around with the flowers at the top. Now I'm gonna take some dimensionals, and on the back of this, I'm gonna put four dimensionals, each corner to give it some lift, and I'm actually gonna put one more right here so that it's really lifted up close to those flowers. All right, let's set that down carefully. Very nice. Now we can put this onto our card base. And we're going to cut a few little flowers to put in here. See how I've added these flowers? So I've got Blushing Bride cardstock. And let's get this out. I'm going to use this little cluster of flowers right here. Put that on and we're gonna run it through. This one you probably only need to do once. It's not quite as intricate, like they're just falling out already. They cut so well. These little guys are gonna make me fumble them all over the place. All right, move that. And now I like to use glue dots on tiny little things like this. I can actually line them up 
on my glue dots like this. And then we'll get our take your pick tool. I've got the little pointy part there and I'm just going to lay them. Let's see, where did I put them before? We'll put one here and we'll get a big one. Nope, that's a little one. We'll put the other little one over here. Now the big one right here and another big one right there. Now I felt like those needed a little more oomph, so we're gonna add some pearls. And I'm also gonna bend up those petals just a little bit to get them to give a little dimension so that they're coming off that page or that card front. All right, now the basic pearls are perfect for this. And actually I can use this end of my take your pick tool and just set them down where they go. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? This is like a little putty on the end of my take your pick tool and it picks them up and then when you set them down, they already have adhesive on them. So they stay exactly where they need to stay. One more down here. There we go. All right, one last thing. I'm gonna add a linen bow, a tiny little linen bow. Linen thread is what this is called. And it's probably my most used trim. I'm gonna cut it really small. I like that it's lightweight and it um, doesn't bulk up your card a whole lot. Whoops, stick on there. And <laughs> last but not least, there we go. All right, what do you guys think? It can be a little intimidating, this set, but I just showed you, if you use your Stamparatus, how easy it is to get those images lined up and how beautiful and stunning a card they really do make. Now, this project was originally done during Facebook Friday. I did three projects using the Forever Lovely Bundle. If you click on the link and go over to my blog, you'll find all the information you need. Here's one, two, three cards. Here's the one we just did, all the products and the measurements. All right, you guys, let me know if you have questions and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.